take you right now to some of the gd and uh, menu structure and what I'd like to do is show you right now how to do a true position on a measured feature. I've got a couple of weld nuts at the top of this frame uh, that I've actually measured inside of a, a uh, soft check tool and I'll zoom in just a little bit more on that as well. Um, these two features here are just some welded on features with a threaded hole through them and it is actually true positioned back to the datum structure of the part. So I've gotten into the data alignment here with, the, with an iterative alignment, and I've measured those features. Actually, I don't like measuring threads so much, so what I've done is I've put some shoulder bolts into those welded features, and then I just took a circle and measured it on the, on the defined plane, which was the face of that, that welded feature. So after I've measured those shoulder bolts, what I'll do is I will compare the circles of those shoulder bolts back to the nominal that I found in the CAD model. I'm showing you a rendering here of it. I'm going to take the rendering off and show wireframe a second. Okay. And you'll see in purple are my measured shoulder bolts at the plane that, um, that was the top of that welded feature. And I've also got the nominals already put into this SAT file. And I'll show you those a second with review features. The nominal upper left and upper right attachment. So if I view them, you can see that inside that diameter right there, I've got, um, they're, they're highlighted red, so you'll see those as nominal features. Right mouse key to get out of that. Okay, so I've already associated my measured feature here to that nominal CAD feature. So if I go back to review features, and I look at the, let's look at the left upper attach, view that. You'll see it right over here on this side, and I will center that up a little bit. Okay, you can see that measured shoulder bolt was a little bit off from the center of that welded feature. A right mouse click to get out of it, and you can see some of the deviation in my X, Y, and Z component. So I've got a major difference in the Y component that will contribute to my true position callout. So I'm going to say OK to that. So I'll go up to the GD&T callout here and go to Position and this dialog box comes up. What it's showing me here is that this top area is for an RFS. And I'll move this over just a little bit. Since it is a threaded hole, the regardless of feature size is how it's called out on the drawing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to update my tolerance here and say that it is two millimeters for a true position. This maximum material condition call out I'm not going to use, so I'm just going to let it default to what Pharaoh says here. And then I will come down here and I'm going to select the feature. I've got them from these, uh, these choices here. But if I forgot what I named it, I can choose it from the screen here with that green arrow. And I'll highlight it. Oh, yeah, okay. Left, upper, attach, of course. So I'll say OK to that. OK, what it's done is it's tested that position to the nominal. So it's tested the measured to the nominal. And here's the tolerance for the for the two millimeters on RFS. What I'll do then is I'll go to the Tolerances tab and I'll just deselect the MMC. I don't care about the maximum material condition here or any bonus tolerance. I'm only concerned with the RFS. Now back to report, it's only going to show me that RFS. So here's the tolerance that it's testing against. Here's the deviation, about five millimeters, and it's showing that I am truly out of position here, out of the tolerance zone by about three millimeters on this left upper attach. And then usually what I do is I will change this label to position upper left attach. So I will give it a name so that when I pull it up for my, for my graphical text report that the, the name actually makes sense for what feature that is. And I'll say OK to that. So what I'll show you is how that looks under Review Features. I've got that highlighted now, the position. That's the upper left attach. And again, it's not giving me the maximum material condition symbol, so I know that's RFS, or regardless of feature size. It tells me what the tolerance is associated to it, the deviation, the measured from the nominal, and there it is out of tolerance. And this box will tell me what feature is actually uh, being tested for. So that's what the position is going to look like on that feature. 
So when you've got the uh, the GDT call out that it's a true position, regardless of feature size, that's a great way to do it. 